So when a bank is um, wanting to make a loan or looking to make a loan for a commercial real estate loan, and this, uh, this is really uh, applies in all lending, they look at three things. The th we call it the three C's in lending, and that's credit, collateral, and cash flow. And banks usually have very stringent guidelines on each of these. For instance, credit. Banks usually require a 700 credit score or better, and they'd like to see a 750 or 800. Uh, only a fraction of most borrowers have that high of credit scores. So automatically, the bank's gonna turn you down if you have a lower credit score. So credit is important. Now with private lending, with say a Musa Commercial Capital, we can actually go down to credit scores down to 500, which is very lenient. So of the three C's, you've got credit. Number two is collateral. Banks also have very strict guidelines when it comes to collateral. They typically only do properties that are within a certain geographical area, most of the time within their lending area or all the time in their lending area. They also have strict guidelines when it comes to property types. Most banks have their own appetites for specific loan types or specific property types. For instance, some banks like owner-occupied businesses. Sometimes banks like income-producing properties more and so on. So it's very important that you understand this when going to a bank. A bank is probably going to turn your loan request down statistically 80% of the time or more. It could be as much as 90% of the time. Most people just don't qualify with the bank. So there's credit, collateral, and last is cash flow. A bank is gonna look very strongly at a cash flow. If it's an owner-occupied business, then they're gonna look at your personal tax returns, they're going to look at your corporate tax returns, they're going to look at your bank statements, your financial statements, personal financial statements, balance sheet for your business, and profit and loss statements. They have very, very strict guidelines and ratios they have to adhere to because of bank examiners. Now with private lending, uh, Musa Commercial Capital, we're going to be much more, um, much more lenient on that. For instance, we have uh, uh, several uh, programs when it comes to uh, uh, income documentation or cash flow for your properties. Uh, if you're a business owner and you own your own property, then we, we can look at your tax returns, but if you don't qualify using that method, we also have what we call a bank statement program where we'll, where we'll we also have a bank statement program where we'll just look at your last 12 bank statements for your business. And if you don't qualify then, we can also look at what we call stated income, which means we're not gonna look at any income documentation. We're gonna look at what the number you put on the application, and we're gonna use that for your approval. Now, we also have a program called the No Income Documentation Program, which is great for business owners that don't keep good records, which we know running a business is tough, or running a real estate business is tough. So, Record keeping sometimes comes in last place.